Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Hadouken, and I am doing a playthrough of Wild Arms 3. This is the uh, second stream. Um, I'm also streaming this over on Twitch, so if you want to um, check me out over there, you can. Um, like I said, it's Wild Arms 3, and we're just going to continue where we left off. I already did two of the characters, and we're going to start, we're going to continue with the, with the next two. So, uh, here we go. I'm joined here by Blue Hawk and Chat, which is good to see. I'm gonna load up this game here. How's your night going, Blue Hawk? Pretty good. Good deal, good deal. So last night we did um, the boy on the far left there, and then we did the the girl. So I think tonight we're gonna do this guy since he's got um, only two stars in difficulty. So we'll continue on from there. I wonder if there's a way to prevent that from popping up. Hmm, I'll have to check that out later. Gallows, isn't that what they? put people in that break the law, like back in the old west, they put them in the gallows. Yeah, that is a good idea. Five days before the fateful encounter. I think, I think it, that's what they were called, the gallows. Gallows Cardine, age 24. Caradine. He has turned his back on his lineage and destiny and recently took to the wasteland as a drifter. Yearning to escape his fate, he harnesses his inherent strength so that he may live freely. However, he has yet to realize the true meaning of his actions. Little does he know that it is his very lineage and destiny that gives him such strength. I'll be darned if this is true. The sacred artifact of Baskar known as the Ark Scepter, will be delivered via a transcontinental train to Baskar Colony. This artifact is said to be capable of communicating with the powers that sustain the world. The transport of such a priceless artifact is sure to generate curiosity, especially among train robbers, as... The sacred artifact of Baskar, the Ark Scepter, and it's on a train? Then... What? 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 Wait. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck is this Arc Scepter that I'm holding now? It's a Christmas ornament. Oh, man. Three months earlier. He's been swindled. Bamboozled. Are you really going, brother? Heck yeah. Those of priestly lineage must enter the priesthood, right? Well, not me. Why the heck do I have to follow some stale old tradition? I'm going to live freely. No one's going to tell me what to do. Well, you don't have to take the sacred artifact of Buscar with you. The sacred artifact art se arc scepter. It enables us to control and communicate with the powers that sustain the world. That's pretty darn amazing. If I can make use of that thing, then I'll have nothing to fear in the wasteland. But even if things don't work out, I can always sell it and live off the money for a while. It's thinking big. What's even greater would be to see Granny's jaw drop. I do not understand you at all, but I do accept your decision. However, I will neither help you nor intervene in your affair. That's my kid brother, just the answer I wanted to hear. You take after me, you're so quick-witted. <laughs> he, apparently he's not. By the way, where's that slow-witted granny of ours? I have not seen her since this morning. Perhaps she's at the altar or, don't tell me, the Southern Sanctuary. Oh, man. 
talk about bad timing. Just when I was about to head off there, that good for nothing granny, good for nothing grannies, can't do anything with them. That's not a nice thing to say. Anyway, your decision still stands. Of course. Shall I auger your future with my dream site? Did I say that right? Auger? Auger? I have no idea. How's that pronounced? Uh, you would like to know, wouldn't you? Did I say it right? Auger? Nah, no thanks. It's almost guaranteed that my future will be bright. It'd spoil all the fun if I knew how good it was going to be. Brother. Yeah, I mean, neither. how's the audio, by the way? Is it fun? It's not like I'll never see you again. Relax. I'll be back with stories about what, that's, what I see and experience on Phil Gaia. So wipe that frown off your face. Cool. Okay, please take care. Good. Glad audio is good. What in the world is that thing? You know, it's interesting. This is like the first actual like town setting I've had. The first two people were like straight into places where there's battles. Beep, hello. Save your game. Oh, it's a save point. That's weird. So I guess I don't have to use one of those coins. Here. Goodbye. Take care. Beep up. Why, if if it isn't the Carradine boy, what pranks are you plotting today? Uh, yeah, like a free save. It's about time. How'd you guess? Sorry, it's none of your business. Uh, which one? One or two? Two? Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to go with. Oh, so that's how it is. I was all mad. All right, but I can't tell you've got. But I can tell you've got something on your sleeve. Her hair in the in the 3D model does not match the hair in the picture in the chat box. She's got black hair there and blonde hair there, or brown. Uh, I give up. You can tell. You sure can leave people on. <laughs> Which one? Let chat choose. Two again? Alright, I'm going to. Not really. I could just tell it tell it in your eyes. Somebody would have caught on. So I'm just a fool, right? That's why I can never fit in. Oh, poor gallows. One? Alright. Well, maybe that's why no matter how bad you try to be, the others can't ever hate you. Doesn't matter as long as you're okay. Here, this is for you. Hey, gave me. I wonder if I chose other ones, would it give me a different item? Hmm. I wonder if in Streamlabs here I can make this any bigger. Let me know if that, you know, makes a difference. Or if I should, like, just leave it like it was. Ah, it did. Is that better or no? It's better. Okay, I just gotta figure out. Can you see? Um, the time at the bottom left of the screen underneath the, the gala. Can you see it on your screen? No, you can't. Okay. I want to see if I can fix that. I'm not quite sure how I can do that since it kind of went off screen on the, um, on the computer here. So let me mess with that a minute uh, um, it's kind of bring in the corner so
when I zoom out. Well, it's like, it just changes the overall size of it. I think if I stretch it left and right, um, it makes makes it kind of disappear, like the stuff at the bottom and the top. Is that good? What you're seeing, is that better? I think I have to deal with the boxes on the left and right side, the, the borders, because it is an old game. It's not widescreen. Okay. All right, I'll leave it like that then. Let's move on. Let me get this chicken. I'm hungry. Let's go in this house. That was weird. I, I'm pretty sure X was pick up boxes. I guess I can't pick them up. All right, cool. I'll leave the the image like that then. It's a little bigger. There are things. There are three things you'll need when traversing the wasteland: the strength to defend yourself, accurate information on your destination, and the search system. Press the square button when you're out in the wasteland to deploy search waves. Okay. If you have the right information about your destination, you should see a map symbol reveal itself. Once you uncover a map symbol, it stays visible as long as you retain the destination on your map. Likewise, you'll never find your destination until you discover its symbol. Search well, unless you like going in circles. Yeah. Yummy chicken. It was a doggy. It's a doggo. Uh, the consciousness known as the Guardians protect our way of life in Baskar. No, it protects the entire world. We people of Baskar live our lives enforcing the will of the Guardians. It is our sacred duty. As you know, we fulfill our duties without question, but still we want to remain, want you to remain proud of your heritage as a descendant of a priest. Recently, we think you've lost your pride. Your medium is a materialization of the power of Stardark? Sh yeah, the Water Guardian. Befitting its watery nature, the medium takes on whatever form its user wishes. We Baskars take great pride in the fact that we are blessed with the Guardian's powers. We know not why <clears throat> you turn your back on their glory, spurring nothing but insults upon Baskar tradition. Yeah, he is not trying to be a priest. There's so much I want to do at the Southern Sanctuary, but Granny wouldn't like it. Guess I'll stay put for the time being. I guess I can't leave yet. Um, let's go in this house. Anyway, there's a person up here. Our history in, as Baskars is intertwined with the history of this world. Well, you're from a priestly family, so you know all about that, right? Uh, <laughs> like, I know I'm a priest, but I don't know, like, what it consists of, so I kind of want to say two. So he can maybe give me some more information. Two? Yeah, that's what I was kind of going with. A long, long time ago, our ancestors waged a terrible war which claimed the lives of many. Soon the blade of conflict wounded the very life of the planet and nearly pushed it to extinction. They say the ancestors soon grew weary of war and cursed their own stupidity. But the blade that had set they had set in motion went on cutting down huge swaths of life. From the last survivors, a few cried out for living not on the planet, but to live with it, inside it. They believed in the power that sustains the world and that the life of demi-humans who communicated with the planet was a way to connect with the planet's life. Their followers sought refuge from the material world and formed our village to live in nature. But look at you. What ghetto did you crawl out of? Your ancestors roll in their graves. Dang. Harsh, man. Kind of an interesting story, though. It's not typical. Like, he's not just a thief, or he's not just that. You know, not just this, not just that. Being a priest, that's kind of different. So, I see you're back visiting the altar. Wonders will never cease. Granny? 
So this is where you were. I thought you had gone off to the Southern Sanctuary. Well, why? Is that where you were headed? N no, not at all. Why would I want to go there? I was looking for you, Granny. I see. So, what is it? Uh, well, uh, one look at your bright smile made me forget what I was going to ask. <laughs> Clever. I'll come back once I remember. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what you're plot plotting in the Southern Sanctuary, but remember it's also called the Fallen Sanctuary. Your half fake skills are no match for its traps and contravances. Con I can't read. And don't you forget it. Alright, I guess I go to the Southern Sanctuary now. Now that I don't have to deal with Granny. It's interesting, like, I can't... It's like most RPGs, though. Old school ones, when I hold X to run, I can't steer and run. I just have to go in one direction. Like, I can't move left and right here. It moves quite fast, though. I guess this is the world map? Oh, battle. Here we go. Let's see, how I, see what kind of gun he's got. Looks like a shotgun as well. Like a pump action. Not really a pump action, but it, almost like a... Re well, I have no idea. Let's see how it shoots. Balloon? That's a balloon. It is a shotgun. Okay. Well, he's got way more HP than the other ones. Starts out at 117. That's quite a bit. Guess I gotta... Oh... So I can't go there. It's like a... Yeah, you got a shoddy. Got that shoddy. How is that a balloon? A balloon with many faces. Boom. It's almost kind of creepy. I guess I'll keep going in a southerly direction. I kind of want to fight as many battles as I can. Bang. Oh. Sinister stare. And did nothing, apparently. Did he sinisterly stare at me and miss? Oh, okay. So, that's weird. So, map controls. To rotate the map, you use the L and R buttons. That's kind of neat. Oh, decrease defense. Okay. Well, <laughs> too bad that's all he done. <laughs> and nothing afterwards. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably has decreased defense. Not sure exactly. Like, I know where I'm supposed to go, but there's not a... Oh, boy. That was a lot of them. Painful infection. What kind of noises do they make? Oh... <laughs> Bang. I love that. That's cool. I'm out of ammo. That's interesting. And I remember it saying that before. You can run out of ammo. I 
I'm assuming the flashing thing is north. It is. Some, oh, it's some of those gobs from the other place. They made their way over here. I'm in gob territory. Yeah. Gob army. Gob army and reckless looks uh, familiar. Like looks identical. Boom. Crits. All day long. He punched him. Like, uppercutted him. The beginning of the game is pretty simple so far. I mean, just... Fighting some enemies and... Okay, I can't go in the tunnels. Oh, I bet you I gotta go across that land bridge. I'm assuming. What are these things? Beast slug. So it's a bug and a animal at the same time. Boom. This guy a little bit higher defense. Caterpillar attack. Wow, that hurt. Oh boy. These things are tough. I might die here. Oh man. That's one. I'm gonna have to. Do I have any items? Whoops. Yeah, I got hillberries, I guess. Oh, it killed me. Wow. Well, that's my first death. Oh, it lets you continue straight off a of fight. That's interesting. have to heal like every other and they're fast I don't think I've unlocked the ability yet I'm dead nope how much the hillberries heal by hopefully enough 300 I don't think I have the ability yet yeah it's all grayed out I have to like do the beginning stages of their story before it un and get to the boss before it unlocks the ability. These things are tough. I'm gonna have to like heal. Whew, man. Come on. And they hit every time, too. Okay, that's one down. Um, I forgot what reload was. Oh, okay. He's got Arcana powers. Damn. I guess since he is, he's a pre, that was weak, 46, um, oh, he can do it, that's interesting, I was wrong, you were right, I'm a dummy, well, here we go, that didn't do much.
And I have no ammo because I can't remember how to reload. Yeah, FP. I'm going to use another heel bear here. I have 15 of them. Ouch. I swear, if I miss a day playing a game or if it's I'm trying to do other things at once. Which kind of gave me like a, here we go, a water attack that crushes and suffocates the target. Okay. Ice attack that instantly freezes in a confined space. Let's try this. Pressure. Ow. The magic's kind of cool. Hit him with pressure again. These things are tough. This is like the first set of hard enemies I've, I've went up against. I didn't kill him? Dang. Hit him with it again, I guess. This should kill him, hopefully. Yeah, alright. Finally. I got a water gem for it, whatever that means. I took down pretty much all my vitality. Let's see what this water gem is. Arcana attack with water properties consumable. Okay. Use as material for arms. Thousand. I guess I'll go here because it said to the south. Hopefully I'm not getting myself in more trouble by moving this way. Heal. I mean, I did. Can I add vitality? I can't give myself any more vitality. I don't have an item for that. Is the audio crackly? Like it, it's like jumping in and out. No? Okay. It must just be my headphones. I can't go down here. I really need to figure out where I'm supposed to go. It said go to the south, right? Or am I wrong? I hate that the camera keeps like pointing upward. It did. It said go to the south. Okay, these guys are simple. Bang. I think if I run into those bugs again, I might just zero hit me for zero nice um if i run into those bugs again i might just run or flee if that's possible hmm. i have to see if i can flee 141 crit nice bang yeah see I can defend I don't know what that does for me in the long run <laughs> I'm out of vitality so I guess I gotta use heals okay so there's nothing over here but sand No. I came from this way. Strong attack. What do you mean by strong attack? Just the, the arcana stuff?
Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Defend against the strong attacks that they deliver. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it seems like the the enemies in this area aren't too bad, except for those bugs. Those slug things. Those kind of give me a fit. They're tough. Uppercut. Gotta be close to leveling up. Send go south. I really want the camera to like stop doing that. That's annoying. I went too far. There's nothing here. That's the town. I wonder if I can sleep. You can't heal. I insta kill. <laughs> yeah. Wrong house. You can't heal at a insta kill. Yeah. That's kind of what those dudes are practically doing. They would kind of team up on me there. Thank you. Right, close this best. I'm feeling so sleepy. Yeah, let's sleep for a minute. I like that music. Okay, so I got my encounter bar back. So let's try and go south again, like it said. some encounters here I can't go in the sand it's I get invisible walled south is still to the right here there's a cave or like a with a train. Yeah, it is good music. It's like old west stuff. It's kind of cool. No. I'll fight this one. I do ha like how you can opt out of battles. Oh, no. Not these again. Uh, what does that do? Auto battle. That says only available to the power of a priest. I am a priest, but I guess I'm not a full-fledged priest. Um, I can't do any of these yet, so let me just... Stop it. Stop it, I say. Whoops. Um... Let's try refrigerate. I haven't tried that yet. Ow, I'm dead. Oh, man, that was so close. Woo, refrigerate. They're weak against ice, I guess. That's pretty powerful. But I'm not going to be able to heal. He's going to hit me before I can heal. Well, that's kind of lame. Try again. So with these dudes, I can't get two attacks back to back. It's just not allowed. Yeah. These things are tough. Hitting 30 HP each hit on average. Um, I'm going to have to heal this turn. And pray he didn't kill me. Man. I 
hit it with a refrigerate. That seems to do the most damage. I wonder if that 100 was a crit or not. 144, wow. Even more there. Hit it with a refrigerate again. Just get it to go away. One twenty eight is powerful. Two ice gems. And no vitality left. Okay, so to the south. I mean, I guess I just gotta keep going this way. No. Ow. We kinda dead ends. And I can't jump off the edge here. It doesn't work like it does in dungeons. Hmm. Oh, whoa, who's that? Okay. Spartoi? That's kind of a cool looking enemy. I got a feeling I'm in trouble. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to be this close, I think. I think where I'm at right now is a bad place to be. Uh, let's try to refrigerate. Oh, we missed, thank God. <laughs> Yeah, dead Spartan. Yep. Really? 16. I wonder if I heal him since he's dead. Since he's an. Un I can't select him, so I can't heal him. Um. Yeah, pressure. Good idea. Oh, ouch. Fifteen, so apparently he's strong against water-based attacks or magic in general. I think I'm dead here. Nope. Oh man, I guess I'll just attack him and pray he misses. 19 so either way <laughs> extension how come I can't do Gatling hmm. Uh, refrigerate, I guess. Try that. Or pressure. Which one do you think? We tried both, and they hit them for an even amount, so I don't think it really matters. Extension. Pressure or refrigerate? Which one do you think? Analyze. I'll try it. I, I'm assuming it's just going to give me information about him, which could be helpful. So, weakness is, what is that, light? Which would make sense since he's undead and he's resistant to, to darkness and everything else is halved. So, regardless, it's no good. He's only got 63 HP left. Um, I'm going to heal. Ouch. Everything's so much faster than me. It's not fair.
Ow. Three. It's like every time I hit him, his defense goes up. <laughs> My defense goes down. <laughs> hit him for nothing. I gotta figure out if there's a way to run. He's got bad luck. Um, I'll try it. He's gonna kill me. Oh, I got so lucky. Ten. A whole ten. This thing's got ridiculous. Uh, defense. I'm dead. Man, thing's tough. I wonder if I end up back at the town. Because there's no way I can kill him. Every time I try and fight him, his defense goes up. Huh. I still have to figure out where I'm supposed to go. So let's go talk to old granny in here. Yep, we know what she says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Southern Sanctuary. Well. The Fallen Sanctuary. I wonder if that's like a hint to something. Hmm. The Southern Sanctuary. There's no world map, I don't think, no. I can't even go north if I wanted to. I guess I take that back. I think I can go north once I get out here. Stop it. No, I can't because I can't go over the this crack here. So I can't even go that direction. Two star, what's a three star? Impossible. There's nothing out here. It's just empty. Maybe I'm missing something in town? I'm gonna head back to town because I'm missing the, the one ability to. Where I could like analyze the area or whatever on the world map by pushing square. So I gotta talk to somebody to get that. Uh, we got sacred duty. Confession. Surprise. I don't think it was that guy. It might have been this one. 
save the world. Uh, give me a hint. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, that's the jerk. Maybe it's the lady out here. Not that one. This was an empty house. Yeah, here we go. I think it's a search system. You're out in the wastelands to deploy search waves. If you have the right information about your destination, you should see a map symbol reverse itself. Once you uncover a map symbol, it stays visible as long as you retain the destination on your map. Until you discover its symbol. Uh, okay, so I have to find its symbol first before I actually find the temple, apparently. And there's no hint for that. Just run around push square. It seems. Should have slept. But at least this isn't limited. I'll fight a few enemies. As long as they're not tough ones. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. I'm just dumb. Here we go, Fallen Sanctuary. Here we go. All right, get ready, Arc Scepter, because here I come. Smack myself in the face. I've got the power of Arcana in my medium. As long as I've got that, no ordinary monster here can stand up to me. Yeah, all I had to do was push square. Gallows has invoked a medium called the Aqua Wisp. It enables certain powers called Arcana, which can be used in battle, which is what we were using out in the world. You can only use Arcana when you have enough FP for the type of Arcana you wish to cast. Using Arcana, however, never costs FP. Did I read that right? I feel like I read that wrong. Whoa. That exclamation mark was red. And it didn't give me a chance to push, push circle to get out of it. Maybe because I didn't have enough stuff. See how strong these things are. Nine. They have high defense. Let's pressure them. Prickly. I feel like that's their name, not an attack. 49, okay. That's better. So it's like I gotta do a bunch of arcana while I'm in here. You ever play, play these kind of games? Blue Hawk? Or no? Or play RPGs in general? You wish you could? Well, what? I, I guess what do you mean by you wish you could? Are you missing a console or, or what's the, why can't you? Raises the stairs. Oh, you don't have any RPGs? Face the block and press X button to grasp it. Nor the console. Oh, okay. That stinks. 
While grasping the block, press the directional button or left analog stick in the forward direction to push it. You can pull the block backwards by pressing the directional button or left analog stick in the backwards direction. Okay, so just push it. There we go. Quick. Perfect. Hang on for two seconds. I gotta answer this message real quick. Sorry about that. Um, what would be your console of choice? PS4, Xbox, PS5? <laughs> uh, I hit attack. I should have done the, the thing. You're not sure? Did you ever have a console in the past, or or not, or? Wow. A three. You had a 360. There's a lot of good RPGs for 362. Some that never made it to to PS3 or any other console. I mean, they came to PC. I think there's one um, in particular. I never had a 360, but there's one game in particular that I'd like to to play is um, the Last Re Last Revenant. I think for Xbox 360, for 360, your lag is bad. Uh, I could have dropped a bunch of frames, but I'm not exactly sure how to check that because I've never. This is the first time streaming through OBS. I can kind of see it too on on the screen capture. Let me try something real quick. trying to mess with stuff I'm out of FP here yeah I can see it lagging on my end better or no? This computer isn't great for doing this. It's just a simple laptop. Nothing serious. I was just seeing if I could do it and be able to control, you know, some audio stuff. That's why I want to try and do it with OBS or Streamlabs. Looks like it might be a little better. Oh boy. Big puzzles. Wham.
The monolith is decorated with runes symbolizing Grudive, the guardian of Earth. Okay. I can't go up those. The monolith is decorated with the runes symbolizing more galt, fire, so south is fire, east is earth. Fengalon, the guardian of wind, is west. Wind west. And then Sturdark, the guardian of water. I don't have any tools to like interact with anything. There's no encounters out here. I'm assuming I missed something in here. I'm supposed to do. Nope. see it lagging again. Let me know if it gets like awful on your end where you can where it's not watchable. It's very laggy still. Unfortunately. Um, there's nothing I can do at mid midstream either, so. just have to end stream here until I can get that it's better is it better now huh maybe it's just a fluke thing weird still doesn't help me where I need to go it can go. It looks like I'm supposed to do something with this blue flame. Oh wait, I can rotate the map here. Here we go. Device is keeping the door shut, which is that, but I don't have the tool to interact with it. That's weird. I wonder why it lagged and then it's back. And I'm not exactly sure how to check. Like how good the bitrate is. I'm sure it's another tool that I can use, but I'm not sure exactly where to find it. It's 
It says my stream quality is good. Okay, here we go. I found where, oops. Okay, so I should keep this window open. Okay. I got a gimmel corn all that. Finally leveled up. Good God. So it says stream quality is good. Uh, it's only running at 30 FPS. It says 10.1% drop frames. I don't know how average that is. It says I can add those to my footer. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Right now I can see it at the bottom of the screen. Now, at the bottom of the stream. Is it still good or is it lagging now? Give a coin. Found some treasure chests. Ah, I found a tool. Okay. Project ghostly beams of sub-zero frost. It's supernatural snow is so chilling it can extinguish torches in an instant. It's good. Okay, cool. So LNR makes a camera move. There we go. It's like a little snowman. How adorbs. Now some stairs. I kind of wish there was an auto run in this game. You watch any other streamers or? Looks like the torches light back after a while. So I gotta kind of light them up. There we go. That's simple enough. Not really, but sometimes. Um, there's a guy I like to watch um, quite often. He plays games like this, and he plays Celeste and things like that, and he's a pretty clean channel. Um, 48 Live, I think is the name of this channel. It's pretty, pretty awesome streamer. It's pretty fun to, fun to watch. Hmm. Okay, I'm just, there we go. Okay. How am I supposed to... Because I can't run as soon as I run off of it. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's why. Yeah. Move the box. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Like I saw the box, but for some reason my mind told me that the box needed to go on top of the thing that kept going up and down. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's 11 at night, that's what's wrong with me. Uh, 
Uh, you can also find his YouTube channel, um, 4 8 Live, on YouTube. So if you don't catch his streams, he streams Monday through Friday, um, except for Thursday, and it's like all day. Basically, from 8 a.m. Eastern Time to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, I think. Yeah. And he doesn't have a huge community, so it's kind of nice that he. And he acknowledges chat, is very active in chat, and he's hilarious. He's really funny. So, if you ain't got nothing else better to do, you know, do your day, Monday through Friday, go check them out. Every once in a while, he'll also do like bonus streams um, at night, depending on what his schedule's like. And every year, he has a. Uh, uh, during Halloween, he's got something called Hollow Month, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a huge Halloween guy. Yeah, you got school all day. You can catch him in the afternoons. I mean, I guess it depends on where you at, where you're at. If you're in the U.S. or, I'm assuming you're in the U.S. Where did that come from? I don't even remember. Let's go back in here. Did that come from this direction? Or no. Okay. Oh boy. Can I do like a spin around move and take all the ice things up? <laughs> Yeah, there ain't no way I'm doing this, bro. Oh, you can. That's cool. So if you hold X or hold square, and then just move the D-pad around, you'll kind of do a spin around thing. You're in the same time zone. Yeah, we're in um, Central Time Zone for us. Sheesh, this ain't the way to treat a future priest. Oh boy, boss fight. Here we go. Let's get it. I think after this I'm gonna... Check. What the... I'm fighting emojis. It's 11-16, yeah. So, same time zone. I'm fighting emojis. Kessaran? Passaran? Issuing warning. But oh, did I do something bad? Huh. Okay, I'm, I can't. Okay, I can't, like, heal it. What if I throw a water gem at it? Oh boy, water gems are powerful. Mission accomplished. Man, this guy's story is just... I mean, it's cool, but it's weird. Like, the enemies and stuff is strange. I'm gonna water gem him again since I got like 11 of them. Oh boy. Split into two. I knew something was up with these crazy balloons. <laughs> well then, I have a trigger on my sleeve too. Can I multiply? 
Gallows is capable of releasing the force ability extension by expelling 25 FP. Extension broadens the target area that the Arcana affects. Ah, okay. So extension, which makes sense. So extension and then pressure and it hits all four. That's cool. So it's like a cast all kind of thing. Boom. That was dope. Yeah, you did tell me to use it. It makes sense too. Like extension. It's like an extension of his magic. I'm old, man. I'm slow. It takes me a while to catch up. Well, this can only mean that the Arc Scepter is mine for good. All's well that ends well. Arc Scepter acquired. I gotta get out of here. I'm assuming. Ugh. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Uh oh. Ugh. Give me a break. Another trap to repel thieves, huh? Hmm. Hey, open up. Who do you think I am? I'm an up-and-coming candidate for priesthood. Treat me like this and you'll be sorry. Hey, you listening? Shh. Your cries for help will only be heard outside. <laughs> Who's there? Aw, oh, come on, brother. Who are you crying to? Shank? I knew I could count on you. You must have been you must have seen vile premonitions of your big brother in mortal danger, right? Of course not. I know you well enough to know that you're you'd mess up somewhere. Hmm, I don't like your attitude, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> Pretty sure Gallows can't talk trash because he's the one stuck behind a light wall. Look at me, I'm trapped by these walls. Got any ideas? Golly, brother, I'm really stumped. We better start with what we can do now and think of a way to get you out. Well. we That doesn't do anything. Can I run into it? Bam. Oh, that's right. I've heard about a trial where the... Aspirant must retrieve the Arc Scepter in order to be ordained. Basically, they have to think and act like priests if they want to survive the perils within. Okay. Think and act like priests. Uh, Gala focused his thoughts upon the Arc Scepter. He felt a great presence begin to speak directly into his mind. Gather your strength and leap past the barriers before you walls may tower above you if you wish to penetrate them you must first push the limits of your mind okie dokie so I shoot it then right <laughs> I guess this is here this is here so the candidate can show that he's got what it takes to be ordained Easier said than done. Hey, you're not hoping I bail you out, are you? I just can't. No matter how bad it gets, nobody can do more than they're capable of. No, no, I never asked you for that. I'm thinking of something different. An efficient yet comprehensive escape plan. Then tell me. Dang it, he called my bluff. You see, uh, we're fortunate because we've still got each other. Fortunate? In my case, that's not a good thing at all. Just hear me out. We're just lowly apprentices right now. We're only half way to getting ordained and also there's two of us right the two of us are only halfway to being real priests right and even though the two of us are only halfway with both of us together we're all the way there right wait maybe we're even further through the incredible power of brotherhood we can do anything there you go trying to talk your way out of things again but still putting our power together might be worth a shot I don't expect much though he's a Debbie Downer We ain't, we ain't got a choice, Shane. Come on, help me get out of here. We have to overcome this together. Amazing. I never thought you'd think of something so deep. 
Listen, Chain, I'm going to be a drifter. I want to be free. I want to be a drifter, wings flapping against the winds of lineage and destiny. You were just called that. I'm sorry, I have to leave you to take care of Granny. So if you forgive me for that, I won't ask for your help anymore. Only then will I... Brother, hush a moment, just a little longer. Just a little more and I can help you. I must grow stronger so that you can wander freely without worrying whether I'll be okay because that's the only way I can help you. Shane, thank you. It's gonna explode. Well, we made it out. It took a lot of brotherly love to get this thing. And now another Arc Scepter is on its way on a train. It just doesn't make any sense. So is this the real one? Or the one on the train? Well, I guess I'm going to have to get both to know for sure. Yeah, for sure. That is one strong barrier. A drifter who soared over the wasteland liberated from all restraints. His next target, another Arc Scepter. Verifying which of the two treasures is real will determine his self-value and may be regarded as a small sense of pride. The dangers invoked are many, but it's also so he can break away from his lineage and destiny. Little does he know, however, that unseen tracks already lie before him. An article obtained by desire, this can be considered a ticket to freedom. But it's a one-way ticket and the destination is unknown. Okay, so that's the end of that. Um, I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube because I plan on posting these on YouTube. So um, that's the end of the second episode of Wild Arms 3. The last one we'll do um, will be the hardest one. And uh, we'll probably play that tomorrow uh, or the next time I, I stream this, whenever that can be. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, like I said, I don't have a strict schedule because of, you know, kids and stuff. But it's been fun. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, I can get back to this sooner or later. After this game, we'll be playing Final Fantasy VIII, uh, the, rem the remaster, I think it's what it's called. Um, I played a little bit of that game when I was younger on PS1. And I never really finished it. And I kind of regret it. Um, so I'd like to go back to it. And since it's remastered, I'm going to check it out. Um, I also have some other games that I'll probably kind of start over. I have the new Spider-Man game that I'll probably stream. Uh, if y'all want me to stream that, I'll stream that as well. Start it over. Um, let's see. Uh... I got quite a few other games that I might, you know, stream, try out. So, yep, that's the end of this one, this uh, video. And like I said, hopefully I can finish it off tomorrow or continue tomorrow. So um, I guess I'll see you in the next one.